Hello, my love. So today I'll be showing you how to make Louisiana style stuffed bell peppers. If you want to see how I made this, stay tuned. All right, my babe. So today, this is all the ingredients that we have, but I'm gonna list them in the description below. So we're gonna get started on this thug dizzle right here. So first you're gonna start off with a hot pan, a hot pot. I use a pot for this because you wanna mix it up real well and a skillet in a, ain't gonna do too good in there. So we got this skillet heating up, it's very hot and then we are gonna add the dressing mix. Now, you can use whatever dressing mix you like. But this is the dressing mix that I like. Um, it's by this local grocery store in my hometown. Um, but you can get the Savoy dressing mix or the Richard's dressing mix. I don't really like the Richard, but you can get the Savoy dressing mix. You can find these at Walmart. Or maybe your local um, grocery may have these. So as you see right here, I'm kind of like, because they come frozen. So I'm kind of like, I let it set off for like 30 minutes to an hour. And then, I, you know, it's going to cook for like 20 minutes up in here. So when it's ground meat brown all the way, this um, dressing mix is going to be well. So you're going to brown these two together. Just like that. You're just going to brown them together. And while that's cooking and browning, we're going to go ahead and spit our bell peppers. So... My bell peppers are not been washed yet, but as you see, I um I got them split it, and this is how the inside should look. So right here, I have my um a little crab ball. Sorry, it went too fast, but this is how you meat look right here when it's all browned up together. But that water, I got that for um my peppers is gonna get hot. I got a little crab ball up in there. So right here, I'm gonna add my smoke sauce. I just had like a little piece left, and I kind of like want to get rid of it, but you just add it up in there. Let that cook all down and get good together. After like five or six more minutes after that cook, it's going to look like this. Like everything's going to be cooked. You want to keep all that juice that's in there. We're not throwing away none of that. We ain't draining no meat. None of that. This is our crab meat. We're going to add that up in there. We're going to mix that up like that. Literally, I season my meat too, y'all. I didn't get it on camera, but you're going to season your meat to your liking. As you see through at the end, because this video is fast. That's my crab meat and my shrimp. I'm literally just going to stir it up real well. And that's going to be it on it. And then we're going to add the breadcrumbs and a stick of butter. So just keep on watching. I got y'all. It looks so good, y'all. I really want to eat this right now. It looks so freaking good. And I wish I could have just smelled how it smelled in my house. Oh, Lord. So as you see, I done added the old butter on up in there. Ain't nothing like some butter. Real butter, not that margarine stuff. Please stop using that, y'all. Please stop using that. But so one stick of salty butter right there. And literally after all this melt up real good, I'm going to show y'all what I'm going to do next. So right here, I'm adding my little panko breadcrumbs by the cup. By the cup. That's it. Just a cup. You don't need that much. Just a cup of breadcrumbs. That's it. I eyeball it, but get your little measuring cup out. And you can test it. If you got a little too less, if it's a little too loose, add a little more breadcrumbs. But it ain't supposed to be like a, like a, let me see what I'm trying. It ain't supposed to be like bready. You know, it's supposed to have more meat than anything. It's supposed to look just like this. Once you got it mixed all together like that, we done, y'all. We're going to go ahead and stuff these peppers, baby. Stuff them and put them in the oven. Okay, here go the other clip right here. I thought I had it at the top, but... We're going to drop these old bad boys up in here and let them bell peppers cook for like 30 seconds to a minute. Give them like a little pre-boil so they don't take that long in the oven. And they already soft and hot like right there. You're going to stuff them. You want to pack them now. Pack them down real, real good. You want to stuff bell pepper, not a flimsy bell pepper. So you're just going to stuff it to your liking. I ain't had no trial part at the time, but I got one now, baby. We're going to be on the road. So just stuffing the old peppers like that. Then we're going to bake them and cover them for about 30 minutes with a little bit of water. And that's how they're going to come out looking. Bam. Watch what I served this with, y'all. You can literally eat these bell peppers, macaroni and cheese and peas. But, baby, I'm country. I had to give me some high fry, a little spaghetti and cheese and the bell peppers. Oh, Lord. Y'all talking about good. So, what I want y'all to do is like, comment, subscribe, and share this video. And let me know what you guys want to see next. Bye.